a meta-analysis in the late 1990s showed that prophylactic cranial ration can improve overall survival and um, the occurrence of brain metastases. Uh, so uh, we've been doing uh, PCI for limited stage disease for many years and then there was a time when we started also doing it in extensive stage disease. Uh, however, in 2017 there was a uh, seminal uh, publication in the Lancet Oncology, um, a large Japanese trial showing that there was no difference in extensive disease in doing PCI versus observation. And so that's changed people's practice, particularly in extensive stage disease, where we, at least at our institution, based at, certainly after that trial, we follow patients with MRI scans and observe them, for example, like every three months for the first year and then every six months for the second year. So we follow them closely and if they do develop brain mets, we can act on it pretty early on. And so we, we can uh, help the patients in terms of not subjecting them to some of the side effects that come along with prophylactic cranial, radi cranial radiation, particularly in extensive stage disease. I think in a limited stage disease, uh, it, there's more of a rationale for doing PCI, although even in some patients with cases of limited stage disease, um, there may be instances where we, you want to follow them closely and uh, avoid PCI as well, because those patients, many of them can live two, three years, uh, have fairly long survival rates, and we want to avoid some of the neurocognitive side effects that can come along with the PCI.